Hey guys, Orange Jeep Dad here coming at you from the Orange Jeep Dad workshop. I'm uh, going to continue on with a um, Galco uh, holster that I had in the fire. Um, I'll post some pictures of what it looked like or some video, whichever I still have, of what it looked like after the fire. This gun was um, in the fire, in the closet with my Glock in the holster. Uh, the Glock is... Um, it's actually wrapped up behind me, but it's going to go back to to Glock headquarters, and I'm going to see if they can uh, put her back together and see what it costs. But I was at the gun store, a local gun store, showing it to them, and um, they gave me the idea of putting the Galco, because um, I was just going to toss it, because I figured it was ruined. But when I went to the gun store to buy another one, I uh, found out they were like uh, over $100. And I didn't know that because the one that I had was given to me by a good friend of mine. So they said, look, man, grab it, stick it in a Ziploc baggie, fill it full of old school shaving cream, not the new gel stuff, but the old school shaving cream, submerge it completely in the shaving cream, leave it for like a week, and it will draw in all the moisture out of the shaving cream into the leather, and, uh, and it should make it brand new. So I've done that. It's actually been a couple of weeks because I've been a little busy. But this is the Galco inside this bag. So I'm going to take it out and show you what it looks like. Temperature says it's 29 degrees, but it sure feels a lot colder than that. I'm still running on this crappy old uh, Polonis heater that I said don't buy in the last video. I'm still waiting on my, um, I forgot what it is now because it's been over a week since I bought it. They got back ordered, but I got a nice heater coming. I'll be able to plug in and warm up this trailer. So anyway, let's get to this, uh, this Galco holster here for my Glock. Pulling it out of the shaving cream. Kind of pasty. See what she looks like. I figured I'll clean it all off and if necessary, I brought the uh, open offs throw some open offs on it. I've done a video on open offs already with my uh, with my boots. What a great job it does. And I linked to it in that last video to help you get to Amazon and buy your own bottle. But uh, just cleaning it off. It's looking pretty good. When I went and bought a new one. Uh, all they had was a, a brown. Like a brown leather. And this one was black. And I really liked it because it complemented the Glock. So it's kind of down in the stitching. Of course it doesn't repair the nicks. I don't know if you can yeah, you see all those nicks in the leather. Of course it's not going to repair that. But it is going to help draw some moisture. At least that's what I was told. Draw the moisture in there and uh, recondition that leather a little bit. I think What's going to really help is some open offs on this bad boy. But when I got it out of the fire, uh, it was hard as a rock. It was burnt, crispy, Kentucky fried. If you get a chance, while we're sitting here, I was just thinking we were watching some videos in the house earlier. Me and wifey and uh, my second oldest daughter. It was making me laugh, making me LOL. Uh, we were watching a video that Wrangler Star did. You know, his sister uh, started doing videos too, and today or yesterday, I guess, they switched places. And he had his sister come out to the homestead and do a bunch of logging type stuff that he does. And then he had to go to her place and try to cook something. And it was funny as could be watching him try and make something in the kitchen. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time, so. If you get a chance, go check him out and check out her channel. Princess P, I believe, is uh, her channel. And uh, sub if you can. Alright, so she's cleaned off. It's very pliable now. Not, not brittle at all. Very easy to fold over. But you can see in the uh, leather, see all the cracking? I don't like that. I think the open offs will take care of that. And I don't like the, uh, the metal uh, rivet or whatever that is there. It's 
It's terrible. But that'll probably clean up. So we'll give you one last look before we do the open offs. Got all the cracking right there. It's all rough to the touch. Not so much on the back side. The only real damage I see. Where was it? Right here on the inside. Right there. Some some burn. So alright. I'm going to pause it for a little bit. We're going to open off it up and then we'll be right back. Since it's 29 degrees, of course, the open off's hard as a rock, but like I said before, just use your hands. The warmth from your hands will start to make it warm up like putty. You just get a nice scoop out of there. Start rubbing it in. Just keep going like that. Give it a good thick coat all the way around. And then it starts to come out easier as you're as you're working along. Get all the stitching all the way around. This sucker will be brand new when we're done. We'll have two nice Galcos. And I'll have to buy two Glocks. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. And we're gonna get to the get to that crack part there that we were talking about. That cracking. Get this down in there. So we still got snow on the ground out here. It's been on the ground for over a week starting to slowly go away now kinda like it though, I like snow I lived down in the valley for 21 years my valley I mean Fe like Phoenix Arizona, I was right outside of Phoenix but uh... so I had to charge the camera the camera died on me so I pulled out the Glock to show you what the Glock looks like I have it all wrapped up in a plastic bag but I'll show it to you real quick It's so a Glock 27, it's the smallest 40 cal that Glock makes. Good for concealment, it was my favorite. So here she is. You can see she's all melted. And you can actually see the color difference. I hold her like that. This was in the Galco, and this was exposed. You'll see the heat temperament here. So the, uh, the gun was actually stuck in the... Uh, Galco and I couldn't get it out and finally after messing with it for a while um, it came out and, and sh showed that it's still it's still rackable it's sticking though so I, I don't know it still has the um, serial number on the bottom and of course the the handles just I mean I don't know if you can see how melted this <laughs> really it is looks good but, but anyway the uh, I'm gonna put it. So I got the I got the um, Galco uh, all lubed up with open offs. Anyway, the gun was in there like that. So you can it was shoved a little further because you can see the difference in the the heat temperament there. But got it out. It's rackable. So I'm gonna send it back to Glock. See what they'll do. Tell them my story. I'm not even sure if I can get a. Yeah, can't even get a mag in there, uh, but you can fit. see where it was burned. You can definitely see it in the handle. It's actually more, it's all on this side. This side's not, not so bad. And then you can see it on the bottom a little bit. But, um, so that's going to go back. I got the... Uh, let's see if it says Galco K119WC. I don't know if that tells you the type or not, but it was the perfect, um, can't think of the word, not pouch. Anyway, I'll just keep calling it a Galco. Um, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to lube it up again 
and uh, it's already taken away a lot of that cracking. You still see a little bit of it, but it's not near as bad. So I'll keep lubing that up till it's nice and soft again, and then we'll be able to use it again on our new Glock. And then uh, what else did I have to show you? I think that was it. So it was shaving cream and a Ziploc bag. I'm not sure if it was really necessary. I think Open Office may have been able to do it all by itself. But I did it anyway, tried out, and it came out nice. So I'll do one last follow-up video after this to show you what it looks like after a couple more coats of, uh, of the Open Office. So again, big fan of the Open Offs. So pick some up if you don't have it already. And uh, make sure you hit, you can, do, you can do belt shoes, holster, gun holster, that's what it was. And uh, that's the end of this video. I'm going to get back to some Boondock Saints. Talk to you guys later.